Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got another quick unboxing of a kit that's, that's very unique. It's not an AMT. It's not a Ravel. It's not a Pyro. It's a Testers. Um, love them or hate them, I think they're cool. Because test <laughs> seems like Testers just went every direction. They, um, they built airplanes. Well, I take that back. I say they built airplanes. They boxed a lot of stuff that was made by other people. Um, I don't really care. They boxed the IMC 48 Ford that I love so much. It was it, uh, Testers acquired those. So Testers had Italeri, which is this right here, Italeri. They did Fujimi. They did all kinds of different. They were known for using their box to put all kind of other people's stuff in. I have seen this kit on eBay for a long time and I've bid or I've made offers on one and they just never will they won't ever accept my offer they don't even respond but this one I think I may have wanted on a bid or something like that but I've, I've been seeing it and it's a unique car it's an American made car okay it's a Cadillac it's not like it's a Rolls Royce or anything like that it's a Cadillac 33 Cadillac and the thing about this kit that makes it so very cool or this car rather is that it's a V16 and most people don't even know that a V16 ex exists I think the Bugatti Veyron I think it has a V16 but it's um, the style of, of engine I don't think is the same I think the way they build those Veyrons and, and have 16 cylinders the cylinders are literally like stacked in one bank but anyway I don't think this one's that way this is this has a rather large hood if you can tell if you took two V8s and put them back to back it probably would fit in there but I saw this kit I saw these monster white walls and I just it just it just reeks of class and I thought you know I think I'll try to get that kit and I got it and I want to open it up and just show you it's a it's so it's not it it reminds me a lot I've looked at the end of the parts not th thoroughly but it op open the box just to pull them out it reminds me a lot of Tamiya or something like that the way the colors of the parts are the way they're you, you'll see what I'm talking about so let's let's get it but first let me show you it's a 124 scale by the way so it's gonna be a little bit bigger but um Whoever built this kit for uh, testers, wow, did such a beautiful job on it. And uh, obviously, you know, this, I, I had someone mention in the comments, they'll say, if you'll notice box art, if you'll really look close at box art, you'll see that they've used several different models, not just one. And, and, and I forget who, who mentioned this, but he said, like, you can tell it'd be like uh, the people from a tallery or testers would say, okay, Fred, you build one chassis only with the engine. Hey, uh, hey, John, you build one with the top down. Hey, such and such, you build the complete model. Hey, such and such, you, you really de uh, do the bottom really well. And so they use different models. I don't know if they did on this one or not, but... Um, I could see where that probably is the case. This says has more than 167 injection molded parts allow you to build your exact 124 scale of of the late Al Johnson's famous 1933 Cadillac V16 all weather Phaeton. The mighty V16 engine and running gear is fully detailed. Hood panels can be lifted. Uh, uh, can be left off to, rather to display the power power plant and firewall details. This beautiful detailed body is faithful to its full-size Fleetwood com, uh, counterpart, and the interior features all trim and authentic driver controls. Dual spare tires grace the front fenders. Richly chromed parts add depth and sparkling sparkling elegance. A complete, easy to follow instruction manual completes this precise classic car kit. So let's open this thing up. And take a look at it. That dude would stroll. Don't you know you'd like to ride in that? Wow. All right. Get this thing open. These old flat testers boxes. Good grief. They really put that one in there tight. All right. So testers always had these nice booklet style um, manuals. Even with the... Uh, 
48 Fords. I don't think they necessarily took I Tallery's manual. They might have taken the pictures and everything, and but they put them into a, a book form like this. And they were very nice as far as um, instructions goes. So that's that. So let's look at some parts. So someone, uh, either it came like this or someone did it wrap the chrome tree, which is really nice. So there's your chrome tree with the two big bumpers about to break off the tree two big massive bumpers that you could really push somebody out of the way do you see that look at that bumper that dude is huge the bumper itself probably weighed 350 pounds what would this car weigh wow if it didn't weigh 7,000 pounds it didn't weigh an ounce that thing is a beast I have to look and see what a 33 Fleetwood all-weather Phaeton weighed see how close you hey Check it out and put it in the comments. I said the 7,000 pounds. Let's just see how close I was. Here's your instrument panel. All kinds of headlight buckets and, and, and things. There your grill. Nicely done. And again, this is a a, a foreign made kit. I don't know. Is Italeri made in Italy? It, it is, does it say on here where it's made? It is a 1985 kit too. Right there. 1985 and it's uh oh yeah it's parts made in italy it says it right there okay so that's the italeri parts made in italy and uh as far as rockford illinois goes is where testers used to be my aunt lived in rockford and as a kid as a model building in the model building eight uh when i was building models i went and visited her at rockford i had no idea that testers was made there no idea at all all right so any chrome tree is nice very very nice all complete everything's still on there barely some of them's hanging on by a thread but there's all kind of little intricate uh, chrome pieces tons of door handles good night door handles trunk handles hood handles all kinds of handles I'll put that back later here is your massive v16 see what i'm talking about it's molded in silver or gray plastic kind of it reminds me so much of like a tamiya but count them let me get this focused count count the exhaust holes i count one two three four five six seven eight on one side yep it's a 16 cylinder that thing is a beast now i don't know what the cubic inch was on this thing and it may say in the uh yeah it does i'm reading it right now 452 cubic inches so it's not like a massive engine but they say what what happens with 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 internal combustion engines is if you have a single cylinder like i have a single cylinder 650 klr kawasaki motorcycle single cylinder tons of torque but it's got a lot of vibration to it two cylinders have to vibration three three cylinders it's just weird but anyway triumph does that um four smoother eight cylinders smoother 12 cylinders get smoother 16 cylinders you probably could not even tell that it was running because you have so much counterbalance in there so maybe that's why they did it because of the luxury factor of this cadillac fleetwood v16 beast of a car maybe it was to compete with rolls royce and just say we've got the smoothest running whatever but I, I would imagine because 452 cubic inches is not very big for a 16 cylinder engine. But anyway, enough of that. There's all the different parts, the oil pan, the, uh, looks like either the intake or the exhaust. Looks like that's the exhaust that come off. Now you've got 16 cylinders that run down to this one tiny little exhaust. There's some tanks of some sort. I don't know what those are for. Um, and here's some intake, uh, looks like intake stuff, exhaust possibly. Don't know. Now the tires are plastic on this thing. They are not rubber tires, but that's just fine. Um, it looks like it would be on some military truck from the backside here. But there, there's your tires with your two spares. Your inner, oops, your inner wheel shows the inside of your drum brakes. Your leaf springs, nicely done too. This stuff is very, very sharp and crisp. Here's some belts, a steering wheel. <laughs> oh my goodness. If that's a distributor, and I don't know if it is or not, I'd have to count the little knobs. Let me see if I can get, where did it go? There it is. Let's see if I can get zoomed in on that thing. Look at all those little guys. 
I bet that is the distributor. I challenge anyone to try and drill one of those little things out and then get the firing order right. There are people that do the firing order. Yes, there are. And I just made the autofocus completely messed. There we go. There's your frame rails. I find these to be challenging when you have separate frame rails. You have other parts that go in between them that you have to align properly. But anyway, it may, it may be a very good kit. I got to get a second one because I want to build one of these. There's your spare tire covers here. Your differential. Very nicely done there. Your drive line or your um, your drive shaft, enclosed drive shaft. Or, or I think it's called a torque tube or at least it was on Ford. I'm not sure what this thing here is, but it's got a nice, I bet that's from the, the, um, the back of the front seat. It's got like this rope that hangs, very classy. Some chassis uh, connecting parts here. There is something that's broke off right here, so I'll find it as I get down in here. Got the big old boat of a, uh, I mean, look how big this thing is. It's longer than my hand. It, it, this this would be such a cool car to build. I can't wait to get that second one so I can build this car. Can't wait. So we've got the... I don't know if this is the top or bottom anyway. Part of the body. Um, here is the... Oh, the windshield. Okay. And the firewall. The massive two sides of the hood. Inner door panels. Fuel tank with the... Uh, uh, fuel gauge my battery's running low on the camera so it may cut off I may have to swap batteries but anyway side door doors this is a multi-piece body multi-piece body and the grill this camera gives you no warning and it starts saying low battery low battery off you ever had a computer like that that just shuts off right before you can save anything there's your inside inner portion of your radiator broken off here's the seat very plush and very comfy looking the white walls for some reason the floor plans for floor pan is white ain't got a clue why it is but it is and the uh, convertible top that they have painted brown on the box but this one's white I'm gonna pause this come back change the video and finish the video out stand by okay battery changed everything good but anyway here's the uh the convertible top and they have it painted a beautiful brown color i'd love to just go with the colors here i do have mcw black and uh gloss black and that that roof would look nice tan color here's your glass nicely um is this a sandwich bag somebody's actually put this in a sandwich bag to protect it thank you whoever did that there's your glass pieces. Looks like they're all still attached to the tree. And, okay, here is a bag where the other parts were in it. Made in Italy. Made in Italy. Very cool. Um, there's some other little bits in here, but I think those are parts just broken off of the tree. So that's it for the 33 Cadillac Fleetwood Italy model kit that was packaged by testers. I appreciate testers doing all that. Um, there's a, quite a variety of different kinds of cars and things you can find there. The prices are starting to go up on them though. Um, so they're not cheap anymore. But guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have not already subscribed, I, uh, uh, I'd ask you to go hit this. Oh, I don't know what I was about to say there. If you haven't subscribed, go hit the subscription button. Give it a thumbs up. Like the video. And uh, comment. Have you built this? I do have one guy um billy i think it's billy bear that that uh sent me the uh paint remover paint stripper i think he built the sister car to this it, there's one that's a uh, uh the the roof is different it's not the fleetwood it's it's i think it's something else but anyway it's the sister car to this he said he built it built up and very nice but if you've built this kit let me know and uh, if you see one of these for sale hey reach out to me and let me know so i can go check it out because i need a second one before i can start building one that's just my weird OCD-ness on that. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hey, if you hadn't already gone to Hobby Nut Models, go check Hobby Nut Models out. Grab you some MCW black paint. That's what I'll be using if I build this kit. And uh, great quality stuff, great paint. 
Hobby Nut's got a ton of different colors. Go check those out. Go grab you a model kit. Go grab you a any supplies that you need to build with. Mark's got them there at Hobby Nut Models. Link in the description below. Go check out the, the Facebook group. Join if you haven't already. Uh, more than likely, if you're watching this video, you have joined the Facebook group. But if you hadn't, go check it out. Um, there's three questions you have to ask. And uh, you're in. And if you're a model builder, you know these questions. No problem at all. Go check that out. Also, go grab you a t-shirt, a model car videos t-shirt. Grab yourself a coffee mug. Grab yourself a sticker. Grab yourself a poster. Grab yourself a whatever I have on there for sale on the Teespring store. Check that out. Link in the description below. As well as the Patreon group. We have had a great time at Patreon with the private live streams that we've had. Um, we get on there and we talk model cars for an hour or two. And we're all on the screen and we take turns talking and we just have a great time. Thanks to my Patreon members. You're a great supporter. I'm thankful for you. And if you're interested in joining Patreon, go to the link in the description of this video and check that out. But anyway, guys, until next time, I'm out of here. Until I get some more model kits or have one built or do something with progress, um, I'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>